Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'll be doing a video on the Mood Mask Get Dewy With It Mega Moisture Sheet Mask with High Jiggy Algae, Rose of Jericho, and Hyaluronic Acid. Alright, and it's by Pachology. I'll be reviewing three. I've never used them before. The one that I used yesterday, I have the packet still here, was the Just Let It Glow. So I wanted to do the dewy one today to, to compare the glowy look with the dewy look. I did like this one a lot. Um, I went over like the, the benefits of the three main ingredients here. The three ones that they highlight that are beneficial to the skin. So on the back it says, you know the feeling. Your thirsty skin is crying out for moisture with sad little puffs of desert air. Your secret weapon against dryness, the superstar hydration team of hyaluronic acid, honey, hijiki algae, and prickly pear. This complex balances your natural H2O levels and perks up your skin with a dose of moisture to take you from parched to refreshed. And that's what I want. So it's the same directions as how as to how I applied the one yesterday. They say you unfold the mask, pop it onto your face, wiggle it around um, until you get the best fit possible. Leave on for 10 minutes or longer if you want. Um, remove the mask and massage any excess serum into the skin. No need to rinse, just let all that goodness absorb right in. I'm going to go over some of the skin benefits of these three highlighted here. So Hijiki Algae, um, I have my computer down here below. So it's seaweed. Hijiki Algae is a seaweed. Traditionally, the Japanese think that the con consumption of Hijiki helps to keep their hair glossy and healthy. Considering the loads of nutrients contained by the seaweed, Perhaps it is also healthy for the health of our skin and nail. Apart from the honey and the other three that I mentioned, they also have castor oil. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty, pretty cool. I'm going to actually just pop this on too. As I read out the benefits, they all smell different. <laughs> um, I won't say it smells exceptionally good, but they don't smell bad. Alright, so this is the face, as you guys can see. I feel like this is instant hydration, like no lie. Alright. So I'm just going to smooth this down. Wow. I already believe it works. <laughs> it really is generous in that amount of serum. I think a little bit got squeezed in my eye when I was trying to smooth it down. So I feel like a tiny, tiny burn, but no like crazy irritation. So anyway, be careful. It just feels a lot, um, like it just has a lot of products or serum. Then the, um, just let it glow. So anyway, I'm gonna let that sit in. Let's put some up here. So I'm being honest, I typed in Hijiki Audi Skin Benefits. Wasn't really finding too much talking specifically about the Hijiki Seaweed. Um, just talking about seaweed in general. So then I added topical because this is the topical thing we're doing here. So all I'm really seeing is that um, there's a website here called Live About and they say the antioxidants in seaweed can help prevent free radical damage to the skin and protect against skin aging. But that's like a general seaweed kind of thing. I'm reading something here also on the ZoeReport.com. <laughs> nine algae skin benefits you need so it says some algae can reduce the breakdown of hyaluronic acid within the skin thus improving hydration and suppleness why specifically hijiki versus any other seaweed i don't know and it's really hard to find information but i tried guys i tried i tried so let's move on the next one is the rose of jericho the rose of jericho 
So it's also known as Selaginella lepidophila. So let's see if I can find that in the ingredient in the ingredients. And I sure do. It's native to the Chihuahua, Chihuahua Desert in Mexico. When it's deprived of water, the plant does not die. So you know it's already gonna be good for hydration. So this is from actually spawellnessmexico.com. And I'm talking about the second featured ingredient. Not it's not the second one in line, but they just feature like the three. The Rose of Jericho. I'm on futureaderm.com. And it says the Rose of Jericho, which is the Selaginella lepidophila, um, acts as a humectant and an emollient, both attracting moisture to the skin and preventing water loss. This ingredient is also a potent antioxidant. So there's that. And we already know honey is a humectant. They also mentioned honey was in here as well. So, all right. So the last one I'm going to talk about is hyaluronic acid. It promotes healthier, more supple skin. For the natural aging process and exposure to things like UV rays from the sun, tobacco smoke, pollution can decrease its amount in the skin. Hydrated skin also reduces the appearance of wrinkles, um, which may explain why our skin may appear smoother with the hyaluronic acid. When applied to the surface of the skin, hyaluronic acid serums like this can reduce wrinkles, redness, and dermatitis. So that's pretty cool. So it's been about 10 minutes. I don't know why. I haven't taken it off yet, but I feel like I'm really going to like this. I'm really, really, really going to like this one. Let's go ahead and take it off because it's been 10 minutes. Let's see. So I'm going to go, as I said, massage it in. It is still so much, but I know eventually it will dry. I honestly liked the Just Let It Glow, and I like the Get To Be With It. I like them both, but I think I like the Get To Be With It better. Um, it reminds me of one of my favorite um, serums, the Truth Serum, the look of it. And I don't know if it's because it has it had more product, in my opinion, than the glowy one. But I do like it a lot. I like it a lot, lot, lot. I just want to see how it's going to dry. I also like the, the feeling of it feels better. I don't know if it's because it has castor oil in it as it was listed in the ingredients. So there wasn't castor oil in this one from yesterday, but there's castor oil in the Get Dewy With It. The residue that I was explaining that I was feeling on my fingers, like, not residue, I didn't see any residue, but it was like, the way how it dried, it felt like when you put on sunscreen, to me, on my fingers. I don't feel that with the, um, the Get Dewy With It. And the sticky feeling, ah! I think as most serums, as they dry, it's gonna feel that way. But my face didn't feel sticky yesterday, like, you know, after it dried. But I still feel the serum. I mean, it's, it's product, so I'm gonna feel something. But um, it doesn't feel like that sunscreeny feeling, feeling when it dries. I felt that a tiny bit yesterday. So, this is this. Um, you guys try it out, if you like. But I really do want to see if this makes a difference in my skin. I'm really trying to take care. I'm out here drinking my water. I do have to incorporate more fruits and vegetables. Because as you guys can see, as I go through the list of these ingredients, um, from yesterday to today, a lot of these things have, like, vitamins. They're things that we can incorporate into food, like, you know. So we have to make sure we're getting hydrated, drinking our water. These are, these are providing hydration topically. But if we are staying hydrated on the inside... Is gonna reflect through our skin, giving us that supple look, as they say, and you know your skin's gonna just bounce back, be useful, basically. So, but I washed my face, as I said that I would every time I do these masks, with the 
Pacifica Seafoam Mask. So I did that. I washed it last night with it. I washed it this morning with it. Then I went ahead and decided to film this video and then put the mask on. So there's that. So thank you guys again for tuning in to another video.